had a feeling I was gonna get hit there. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh. Oh boy, look at that guy there. Yeah, kinda. There we go. You know, every time you go in the water, one thing you have to take in consideration is the water you're fishing. Water clarity changes a lot throughout the course of the season, whether you're on a lake, a river, or a reservoir, bring them on up, and it can definitely affect how many fish you catch by sort of adjusting to that water. I say you adjusted well with your first presentation, presentation. You know, it was weird, That's a good I changed to a, bit, a bigger, brighter bait. Yep, that's good, huh? That's good, let's get her back in the water. Come here, little beauty. Get you back. Boy, she came up. Boy, and is that a chunky monkey, Jim? Yeah, she came up and hit it right by the oh, side of the boat. It. I saw it sort of flare up. I made that L corner yeah. right by the side of the boat, and she came in there and just launched the flat stick. <gasps> and she didn't have any problem swimming away. Yeah, that's fun. I might have to steal that bait. From no, you. no, I told you about that. <laughs> you called it. It took about ten minutes. He makes a call on a bait, and ten minutes he's got one. This section of river that Jim and I are fishing right now is one of those real special places. I've been here at this time of year before and had 10 fish days. It's a great section to fish. And I came up here about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, and we had a lot of precipitation. Got to the river, it was high, it was muddy, fished all day, not a fish. We didn't see a single fish, but now it's been about two weeks and the weather's been stable, we've had no precip. The river is carrying a lot less sediment load and it's slowly falling and everything's been stable and the bite is back on. And one thing that the water clarity does is really determine the appropriate lure presentation. Last year when that water was clear, it was a little bit warmer. We were in midsummer. We were using erratic speed and uh, erratic action to trigger these muskies into biting. Now, right now when the water's cooler and darker, we're going to really slow down. You use a lot of attracting flash and vibration, but it's a lot slower in nature to trigger the fish into biting. Right now, I am throwing what I consider to be one of the classic musky baits of all time, the Super Shad. And notice the dirty water and the color selection, really bright, super bright. Now this bait doesn't have rattles in it, but the split rings and the hook still makes some noise. And it's a real buoyant bait and it does kick off a lot of vibration. But this is only one of the many options there are for being successful in catching muskies in dirty water. Let's look at some of the best options. Water clarity really dictates lure selection for a number of different reasons. In dark water, fish tend to hold tight to the bottom or in and around cover. Speed is also critical. The darker the water, the slower you want your bait moving. Size. Large profile baits enable fish to use their lateral line to feel the bait's presence beyond their line of sight. Vibration and sound are also important lure characteristics for dark water fishing. Wide wobbling crankbaits with rattles, double bladed spinner baits, or slow moving noisy topwaters are all great lure choices for muskies in dark water. Some might ask about lure color. Today, a UV bright orange colored storm giant flat stick seems to be making all the difference. But in general, for dark colored water, we like to use brilliant colored lures. High contrast baits with dark backs and lighter colored bellies can also be good choices for dark or stained water conditions. No question, one thing about when you're fishing dark water conditions is uh, repetitive casts. You know what I mean? These fish cannot, they can't see very far. And right now we're sort of targeting that first fish we caught was actually caught out of a hole sort of a corner bend. So what I've been doing now, we've set, seen one fish and we're gonna fish these holes a lot slower. And what I'm gonna do is fish the, the outside and then we're gonna fish it from the inside out as well. But the biggest thing is, is to make a lot of cast, you know, to put the bait in front of the fish.